Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday technical training. Let's get started. This schematic shows how most protein therapeutics are produced and purified using mammalian cell culture. Our focus today is optimizing cell culture. Many factors impact this, and one of those is mixing. Mixing of the cell culture materials can be influenced by multiple factors and mixing impacts several aspects of production and subsequent cell growth. Since cell disruption due to shear is not as critical today as it was years ago due to advanced impeller designs and improved process understanding, we want to focus on the two most critical aspects of mixing, dissolution of oxygen and stripping of CO2 and reduction of the concentration gradient. Often during cell culture, we must adjust pH through the addition of a base or an acid or provide more nutrients or media. And thus, one of the primary purposes of mixing is to achieve rapid homogeneity of the contents of the bioreactor. The faster we can achieve homogeneity, the better, particularly when pH gradients are involved. In addition, Rapid mixing also induces shear forces that are responsible for bubble breakup. Bubble breakup allows the transfer of oxygen from bubbles into the cell culture media where the now dissolved oxygen can be taken up by the cells. However, cells tend to adhere to bubbles and if bubble disruption and rupture is too intense at the surface, the resulting shear forces can be detrimental to cell health. Energy dissipation rate, also known as the power input per unit volume, is a key measure the industry uses to manage and control mixing, and it is used in design of impellers and bioreactor scale-up from process development to large-scale manufacturing. Maintaining constant power input per unit volume ensures similarity of mixing, shear distribution, and volumetric oxygen transfer rate as we scale up throughout the cell expansion phase and as we increase the scale of production. Computational fluid dynamics, CFD, is a powerful engineering tool that allows bioprocess engineers to do these calculations. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.